So, hey there, welcome to this video. I, I guess you want to learn or you can't decide whether to learn DaVinci Resolve or CapCut for your video editing, video editing skills. Or well, that's well, that's awesome, and both are great tools, but they are but they have some differences. So let's talk about it. DaVinci Resolve, I'll open in CapCut. Okay, so first, let's first uh, talk about DaVinci Resolve. Okay, let's talk about DaVinci Resolve. Well. From my own experience, I've been using it for quite some times now. I can't say that I'm a professional by any means. I'm still consider myself a beginner, and I've been using it for quite some time, right? Also, I've been using also CapCut, right? But if I'm now, I'm going to talk about DaVinci Resolve. There is the difference. The first difference I see between CapCut and DaVinci Resolve is the learning curve. Now, there's still learning curve, don't get me wrong, on CopCut, but could pair with DaVinci Resolve, there's a much higher curve <laughs> to learn or to master because DaVinci Resolve, it's super powerful and is really used by a lot of professional in the film industry. One of the big pros is that it really offers like really, really advanced features of color correction and visual effects. If you really want your videos to look uh, really top-notch, DaVinci is really great for that. You can really create stunning visual effects. You have um, a tab for panel for editing, one for visuals, one for color grading, one for audio, and the final one for exporting your video, for rendering your video, which I think it's pretty amazing that you have all of that in one app that is in, and on top of that, it's even free. Um, there's only like a couple of things, couple of effects, couple of things that are pro and you can buy the studio version. And um, so here, compared with the CapCut, which used to be, a lot of things used to be free. Now they are pro, you have to buy, which, uh, you know, if you want, uh, if you're, if you just want to start learning to edit, but you don't want to invest any money, it's not really a great option. I would go with DaVinci Resolve in my personal opinion. Now. As I said, it can be really comp uh, the thing with DaVinci is can be complicated. It's gonna take time, but you know it's a skill, it's a learning curve. And if you learn, if you learn this skill, just think to yourself: you're developing a skill. You want to be able to learn, to create great visual effects, to create great videos. So I think it's worth it. And if you now, if you talk, um, you know, CapCut is really user friendly. I think it's really designed for beginners. There's a bunch of effects here. Um, you just need to drag and drop uh, an effect. You may have an effect here on CapCut. So that's that's the difference here. Like you just drag uh, you this blur effect. You're gonna have to clear, cl create a blur effect on uh, on DaVinci Resolve compared with, and also the transition. Now of course you can drag and drop and uh, create transitions and effects. Just create them and then you just drag and drop them. You create the the you save those effects. I'm talking about on DaVinci Resolve. But here you don't have to create them. You just need to you can drag and drop them, right? And the the transitions here. So that's uh, what I see. There is the huge difference. You can just drag and drop the transition. You can just drag uh, and drag and drop the effect, right? So I think that that's the main difference. Now I've been reading a lot uh, about people are saying, okay, if you master CapCut, uh, and but compare with those that are mastering. Um, the ventures of those are those people are the real editors. It's true that it's you know I have more I have respect for those that are just mastering the venture result because there's uh, it's a really hard skill. But also as an editor, I believe that it's all about creativity. You can have uh, you can use CapCut, and I've seen people creating fascinating things, great videos, great editing with uh, with just CapCut. It's just all about creativity, I believe, right? So if your main goal you just want to you don't want to maybe um, take a pad on DaVinci Resolve and take a lot of time to master DaVinci Resolve, at least to be able to edit whatever you don't want. Your main um, your main goal is just to have a really user-friendly interface and just drag and drop everything. You're going to pay for some effects, but you, you're cool with that. Here with AI, remove auto frame, whatever. You're cool with that. You just want to start to edit and use your creativity, right? That's your main goal, I think. 
in my personal opinion, I would go with cop car because it's just um, it's just it's not as uh, cop car is not as powerful as the venture resolve. But if you want to um, dive to dive deeper into more professional video editing later on, you might find cop car limiting. It is more like fun tool, quick edits rather than full editing suit. Because here you have also on DaVinci Resolve, you have um, video effects, you know, you can create uh, motion and effects, which here you can't, but you can um, you can just drag from here what you what you have here. And it depends now, as I said, I'm probably repeating myself, but it really depends on your goals. If you don't want, you just want to drag and drop and then use your creativity and how you, you'll um, implement those effects and... Um, effects and transitions and attacks and the audio. I, I still believe you can create great stuff with just CopCut. But if your main goal is to learn all the skills here, to learn to edit, to learn to create uh, also color grade, to audio, to fix the bad audio from your video, uh, CopCut, uh, sorry, uh, DaVinci Resolve, it's pretty, it's pretty powerful. And uh, I think it's gonna help you a lot. You know, that's kind of my, my opinion. Now leave your comments down below. I like to hear. You. I like to to read your thoughts. And uh, yeah, I'll see you now in the next uh, video. Take care and thanks for watching.